welcome to C-Studio, a browser-based 3D model character creator and editor for VRM avatars. And in this video, we're going to be creating and exporting a 3D VRM model in just a few minutes. I'm looking to make a new character that I can build a story around and one day make some 3D animations for. Going for sort of a edgy shonen anime protagonist vibe. Uh, so to do this, first we're going to click here on create. Here we are inside the creator. You can rotate the avatar by clicking and dragging, move the avatar's position by holding shift and dragging, and the scroll wheel lets you zoom in and out. As you can see, it'll generate a random design on entry. If you'd like to switch between a masculine or feminine design, click the body icon and then the first option here. Switching between the two will regenerate a random avatar, so be careful. If you want to continue browsing random traits, which could be good for inspiration, uh, open up another one of the icons and then click the randomize cube. This will allow you to try on different fits for your character. I would also suggest going through the sidebar here and turning off some of these accessories that might be distracting. So for this model, we are going to turn off the weapon by clicking the weapon icon and then clicking the no trait option. And it looks like here in head, uh, we have some demon horns and we'll just go ahead and turn those off. Now I like to start with the outfit. So we are going to click on clothing and we are looking for something that looks like the main character of their anime. I'm gonna go with this right here. It looks pretty casual, but we'll spice it up with some accessories. I am also going to adjust the color of this outfit and we are going to go for a purple look. I like the purple zippers and the purple shoes. Now, if it ever gets difficult to see your model with the default background, go ahead and click the gear and click the moon icon. And now you can see we're in the streets. It's much easier to see the purples on my avatar. Next, we're gonna check out the hair. Uh, I already know which one I wanna use. And I'm also going to adjust the hair to be a, maybe like a deeper purple here. Now we have the basics of our characters. Let's go ahead and add some accessories, ribbons, uh, earrings. I do, I am a fan of the cross style earrings. You can zoom into your character to take a look at what they look like. Uh, let's head into face and maybe we'll add a mustache. <laughs> maybe not. Halos are pretty cool. You can also have floating accessories around your character. Here we have some hat options, a little top hat. <laughs> I would like to add some horns or something to this character. Uh, maybe he's part vampire. And lastly, let's go ahead and give him a weapon. It'll stay on his back. And it looks like the colors already match him pretty well. Once you're all satisfied with the character, go ahead and click next. We will explain the download options here on the left side in another video, but for now, the default settings will work for what we need. And after you purchase your C-Studio model, you will get access back to this page to be able to change any settings and re-download your model. Now that we're all done, we're gonna click the download button here and you will see your payment options. So I went ahead and purchased this avatar. It immediately started the download. As you can see, it's done here. And on the screen, you will get a six digit code that will allow you to re-download your model at any time. So make sure you write this down. It will also be emailed to you. And we're done. Your VRM avatar is now ready to travel the metaverse. I hope this video was able to help. Feel free to leave any questions or comments that you might have. And if you make your own C-Studio avatar, please share it with us on X. And with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Later.